Hi, my darlings, how are you? This is gonna be for my Scorpios, and this is gonna be for the week of the 13th through the 18th of November. I will be using my angel tarot cards, and to clarify, I'll be using my guardian angel messages tarot. So, let's see what messages we have for you, Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio season. Let's see. So Scorpio, this is for you. The seven of earth, seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action. Stop worrying about it. Just be patient, okay? You planted something in regards or invested something where finances were concerned. It's coming. You got the queen of earth. This could be an earth energy in your environment, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. This is the money manager. Maybe you just know how to handle the money. We got the Ten of Air. It's the end of a difficult situation. So embrace the changes. The World card. A job well done. Something successfully accomplished. The Sun. Happiness. Positivity. The Four of Air. It's time for you to take a rest. You've been working very hard. The Two of Water. A relationship that continues to grow. Is that with the Queen of Earth, the Virgo, the Taurus, or the Capricorn? The Strength card. Mm, you got great inner strength, and you need to release those harsh judgments on yourself. And you got the Five of Earth. You have some fears surrounding money. Okay, this feeling is temporary. Always say it. It's temporary. Okay? It's temporary, babies. Temporary. Don't stay there too long. All right. So we got the seven of earth. Seeds well planted. Not too long ago in the past. You're worrying unnecessarily. On top of the seven of earth, you got the five of earth. You got the three of air. And you got the six of earth. So whatever it was, the planted is brought... Oh. There's conflict there. There's conflict and heartbreak and some regret. Now, you might be on a healing journey here. This could be, well, this is past. Whatever this worry is you're worrying about or you were worrying about, it might have been about finances. There was a lot of conflict and there might have been some heartbreak where this finance or finance or where these finances were concerned. However, I got the six of pentacles. And to me, like the six of pentacles is about balance. You know what I mean? So maybe balance has been achieved, even though there was some some conflict here. Where would the conflict be there? Maybe the conflict is with you. You know, worrying about something that you planted in the past and um, not seeing things fast enough, not seeing your rewards fast enough. You know what I mean? And then that way, and then you cause a conflict within you. I'm not sure if that's what's going on or what was going on. On top of the Queen of Earth, you need to use your intuition. You are the magician. And then we got the Queen of Fire. So the Queen of Water. It is about using your intuition. You got the magician. You're very magical. You can manifest anything your heart desires right now. And you got the queen of fire. The queen of fire is a Leo, a Aries, or a Sagittarius in your environment. Or maybe you just found all your courage now. The 
Queen of Fire is on top of the Queen of Earth here. I don't know what's going on. Only you could tell me. Now that's past energy, okay? And then the Ten of Air. The end of a difficult situation. This also seems like an ending too. There was something that ending, ended for you. What it is, which one it is, I'm not sure. It might have been the Earth energy one. Might have been the Earth energy. We got the seven of water above the ten of earth, above the ten of air. The seven of water is about choices, but don't overanalyze these choices. Or opportunities might pass you. Okay, you got the two of fire. You're making plans and you're part. You're, you're making progress, um, and you're finding balance. You got the seven of water. You got the two of fire, and you got the balance card. You're finding balance. And then we got the world card. On top of the world card, a job well done, successful completion or accomplishment of a project. Uh, um, things started calming down in your environment. You got the ten of water, happy family. You got the ten of earth. You came into some money. You got happy family all around. You got the six of air. You got the ten of cups. And you got the ten of earth. Then we got the sun card. All this brings happiness. The two of water, unified love, the four of earth could be balanced financially. And you got a lot of strength. You got a lot of inner strength. You found your strength. And the four of five. The four of five. Time to take a rest. You've been working a little hard. You got the wise counselor, you got the five of water, and you got the page of air. The wise counselor. There's something coming here, some kind of commitment. What does this mean? Wise counselor. The five of water, disappointment, the page of air, truthful messages, outspoken. But you need to take a break. So you might be in your head in regards to something about the past. I don't know if it's a past relationship, a past marriage, or some kind of commitment or some kind of contract. If I feel Excuse me, I feel like you're going to get some kind of message from that, that person or from that situation. There's going to be some kind of message. That's the only thing I can think about. And you're waiting on it. You need to take a break. Just relax. It's coming. Just relax. It's coming. You're crying over something that's already done. Okay? The five of water is like crying over spilled milk. You will get the communication. Just... Stop. Just take a deep breath, babies. Just take a deep breath. Everything will work out. Everything will work out. You got the two of water. On top of the two of water, we got the um, which is unified love. You got the eight of earth. You got the ace of fire. You got the dreamer. There's a new beginning here for you. Something you're pretty focused on. There's some new love here. It's bringing, giving you some creative action and a new beginning. You're very focused on it too. That's the eight of earth. And you found your strength. You got the strength. You got the temporary mindset of lack. It's temporary. You got the lovers and you got transformation. There's some changes coming, um, Scorpio. And you are going to need that strength. You're going to need that strength. You got the mindset of lack really bad. There's something happened here with love. That's why you have this mindset. This mindset isn't necessarily about money. This mindset is about it's about love, the lack. Something happened, caused chaos and confusion. It felt like something tumbled down. Um, it felt really shaky and very chaotic for you. Just take, just breathe, breathe through it, okay, and bring yourself back in. Just breathe and bring yourself back in. You got the five of earth, you got the lovers, and you got the transformation card. The transformation card is like the tower card. Sometimes in life, things have to break down, but you need to remember your strengths. Don't you forget your strengths. 
All right, things have to break down sometimes in life in order to be rebuilt stronger. And then we have the five of earth. On top of the five of earth, we got the ego card, we got the seven of fire, we got the two of earth. Your fear surrounding money. Listen, this is an unhealthy thing for you. Whatever it is that's going on here where your finances are concerned. The ego card is like the equivalent to the devil card, okay? It's around the five of pentacles, the five of earth. The mindset of lack where finances are concerned. The ego card could be about addictions. It could be about gambling. It could be so many things that it could be about, okay? But the, it's something to do with money. There's something unhealthy here where these finances are concerned. Whatever it is, though, you are facing these challenges head on. You are aware of this negative energy. And you are above your challenges. You just need to watch, watch your step, okay? You got the ego card, you got the seven of fire, and you have the two of earth. Watch your step, okay? This is above the five of pentacles. Well, mm, Scorpio, I don't know what's going on here with you. But we got the star card, okay? Which is about keeping the faith and the hope. And I got a whole bunch of goosebumps suddenly all over. Um, the star card, the queen of earth and the king of earth. Star card is keeping your eye on the prize. Don't give up. Okay? Do things with love. Okay? Open your heart up. Do things for the greater good. You got the queen of earth. Could be you know how to manage your money. Yeah, the king of earth. Could be that you just started a business or something. Or this could be an energy. Maybe that transformation that happened is making way in for a new energy that's really positive for you. Because this energy is above the star card. We got the star, the queen of earth, which could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. And we got the king of earth, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. So whichever way it resonated with you, okay, my babies? So you got the star, the queen of earth, and the king of earth there. I don't know. Is that an earth energy or are there two earth energies in your environment? Whatever it is that you're worrying about where the money is concerned, stop worrying, okay? You feel like it's taking a long time in coming, but darling, it's coming. It's coming. It might not be tomorrow, but it's coming. You got the Knight of Earth, and you have the Nine of Pentacles, which is about your rewards. Seeing your rewards, reaping your rewards, all right? I love you guys. You take care of yourselves and I will chat with you soon.